destroyed every useless or embarrassing scrap of paper. Last August, she had gone so far as to make her will, naming Murray her executor and leaving her cherished pearl ring to his younger brother, to Ida, her gold watch. She had no other valuables to dispose of. She had accumulated little in 34 years, a brass pig, a walking stick, a broken Japanese doll, when she had once dreamed of owning houses, gardens, and an automobile. This short trip today would somehow be decisive. To think this journey had all begun by opening a book months ago in Switzerland. How bitterly she and Jack had quarreled over cosmic anatomy.